Hello everybody, I'm Oliver Milner, PhD student at the University of Basel. And I am Federico Lelli, researcher at the European Southern Observatory. In this video we will present our recent findings on dwarf satellite galaxies, which has been published in Science. Large galaxies, like our own Milky Way, are usually surrounded by dwarf galaxies, which are smaller and dimmer. For example, our own Milky Way is made of 100 billion stars, whereas dwarf galaxies can contain from only 1 billion to a few thousand stars. Examples for dwarf galaxies around the Milky Way are the Magellanic Clouds. Those are even visible by naked eye in the southern hemisphere. The Milky Way has around 30 satellite members. The distribution of satellite galaxies around the Milky Way is very interesting. Let me draw a simple sketch. The Milky Way is essentially a disk of stars and gas. The Sun is located somewhere here. The dwarf satellites around the Milky Way they are distributed on a plane which is perpendicular to the stellar disk of the Milky Way. This is at odds with our understanding of cosmology. According to the standard model of cosmology, galaxies like the Milky Way are surrounded by a ma massive halo of invisible material. We call it dark matter. Something like this. Scientists have simulated the formation of dark matter halos using supercomputers. This simulation can follow the formation of galaxies during the history of the universe and make predictions about what we should see around us today. Satellite galaxies should be uh, distributed randomly around the Milky Way. And also the motions of the satellites should be quite chaotic, like bees around the beehive. On the other hand, you see that the dwarf around the Milky Way are aligned in a planar structure and they also seem to rotate within this plane. Another example for such a structure is the Andromeda Galaxy, our neighboring big galaxy in the local universe. It has half of the satellites there are also aligned in a plane, which seems to co-rotate. Some people, therefore, think that our local neighborhood, including Andromeda and the Milky Way, is atypical and therefore shouldn't be used to test cosmology. That's why we choose to study the Centaurus A galaxy. Centaurus A is a big galaxy uh, which has an elliptical shape. Essentially, the stars are distributed in a spherical fashion. We know about 30 dwarf satellites around Sene, and they also seem to be aligned on a plane. In our work, we studied the motion and velocities of these satellites. From Earth, if we point our telescopes, we can measure the velocities along the line of sight towards the satellite. Essentially, we measure this velocity component. What we find is that the satellites to the south of Centaurus A tend to move away from us, whereas the satellites to the north of Centaurus A tend to move towards us with respect to Sene velocity. This suggests co-rotation within the plane. Essentially something like this. We have compared these observations with the predictions of cosmological simulation and we find that a structure like this is extremely rare. This configuration should happen only one time over a thousand. This work shows that the Milky Way system and Andromeda system are not so odd at all. A similar co-rotating plane of satellite is also found around Centaurus A. We do not know how these satellite planes form, but we do know that they should be rare in the standard cosmological model based on dark matter. However, the three best studied galaxies in the universe, Milky Way, Andromeda and Centaurus A, all show co-rotating planes of satellites. There may be many more dwarf satellite systems out there, which still need to be discovered. We thank you for watching this video and we hope you liked our discovery. Goodbye. Goodbye.